like, will you clap for me? Hello, I'm George. I'm Frank. I thought, because I heard a bunch of bad stuff about high school, so I thought high school was going to be hard. And I didn't know I was going to have so many classes. I kind of thought it was going to be like middle school, just way harder classes. Worrying about passing all my classes. Like in middle school, they didn't really count it as like your future or like they didn't give you credits for it. So it wasn't that big of a deal for me. But then high school, it just, it, all of it relies like on you, like you have to pass what your classes. Si ella es la que me ha estado ayudando a hacer todo eso. Ella es una buena persona, me ha ayudado. Por ejemplo, como yo no tengo quien venga a mí a las cosas de la escuela, pues ella, ella, ella vino ahorita a mi conferencia también y me ayudó a encontrar una casa, fue a checar que todo estuviera bien ahí. Pues el crecimiento ha sido grande porque pues gracias a ellos encontré un mejor lugar donde vivir, donde estoy más cómodo y en cosas de la escuela también me han estado ayudando bastante y pues voy progresando bastante en eso to give other students confidence that they need to like pass the classes to make sure like you can do this and you will do this. Um, I believe they're here to just help out. Honestly, they're a really big help. I really like, I really admire them for what they do because they helped me a lot, you know, come a lot, helped me with work. Um, anything I really needed, like they were all there. I had school after school when they were helping me with bus passes and whatnot. So I believe they're here to help and that's what they do and they do it really good. Our students here just don't have the motivation. They don't have the, uh, the like Frank said, the resources. They don't, you know, they don't have the assistance that they need. But being in schools is that help. Seeing him every day, every time I see him, Daniel got a smile on his face. Miss Livingston got a smile on her face. Every time they see you, they smile, say hey, and then they don't bug you but they're on you to make sure you're staying successful. And I think that's it. Well, uh, I also agree with Frank, but I also have to bring up how like, you know the, uh, what Frank said earlier, the man meetings, and you just, you know, it's a good experience. Mm, Ms. Livingston, the like head director here, she helped me through a lot of stuff here. You know, she's my go-to person, like my counselor. You know, when I have struggles at home and here. My favorite, mo uh, my favorite moment was when I was in elementary school and how community, community and schools had always uh, offered activities after school. Like there was music and sports, art and science. And I liked the, the music part of it because that gave me a hobby to learn how to start singing. And I actually learned how to start singing and be, become better at it. Miss, known Miss Livingston since fifth grade, so she's kind of helped me become more mature and like get better in grades and stuff. Well, she just gave me the support that I needed. Well, I've been lazy a lot and like, like it's been kind of hard to keep my grades up and stuff like that. And then so they had us put they put us in a little man meeting that we have every Thursday during every advisory, Thursday. Or every other Thursday during advisory, and then they help us make goals and. I aim to do better than what we do, and since then, I haven't been as lazy, and I get my grades up, and then there's always somebody I can talk to whenever I have a problem with anything. Well, uh, you kind of helped me a lot last year, because I was failing geometry, and it was very struggling for me, and, you know, I went to extended learning, and Daniel helped me out a lot, and it was, you know, it was really motivating, and I, really, I just hung in there. Pues a mi forma de ver, pues no sé qué tanto han hecho, pero lo que han hecho por mí, pues lo están haciendo bastante bien. Todas las cosas que han hecho por mí. A, aparte de los consejos, me han ayudado con lo de la casa, con cosas de la escuela y así, pues muchas cosas. Por ejemplo, también me van a ayudar por, con, con comida, ¿me entiendes? También con comida. They've uh, given me a reason to actually try. Like they 
they tell me about like how they went through high school and how they had their struggles and then they're saying that um, even though you have struggles you can overcome them and graduate and do what you want to do. Communities and schools has been an amazing resource for students who need that extra line of support as far as uh, finding that gap that is not helping them be successful or um, holding them back in some way and being able to provide that extra support, whether it's having somebody to talk to, being aware of what's going on at home and processing through those problems, whether it's the um, food and just needing some extra weekend support and what that looks like. Um, and getting them the resources that really help them be successful, whether it's backpacks or school supplies or a coat when they're cold um, during the winter time. That how do you meet the needs of the whole student? And I think communities and schools really focus on that and, and helping those students be able to focus on academics instead of whatever else is impacting them. Um, so just thinking of one of the most recent experiences, I think that communities and schools made a big impact on one of my students who is not yet fluent in English by having um, a bilingual staff member who could attend his conference since he didn't have family to attend um, and just working on like basic things for him like making sure that he's got um, the free lunch thing taken care of and little details like that and so like from a personal perspective those things are huge for him because there's a lot to navigate that um, if you don't have somebody to sort of make sure that communication is happening, you wouldn't be able to navigate. Um, and I mean, again, that connection to like personal needs being taken care of leading to success in academics can't be overstated. So, I mean, I think once those things are taken care of, the, the path is open for me to um, begin to work on more academic related things.